Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Just when you think it can't get any worse. Actually, I take that back. Because I don't know. We always say that about the Jets. We always say, just when you think it can't get any worse. They, they always seem to surprise us. In how, it, yes, it can get worse. I'm scared to know what could be worse than this. But they'll find a way. I'm sure they'll find a way. Oh, what a disgrace. So the Jets, somehow, and you knew it was coming. You see, I think Ohio Tech fans felt it. That this was the day that they would just embarrass themselves yet again. Lose to the Miami Dolphins, a minor league football team who's not even trying to win. They lose to the Dolphins 26 to 18, and it wasn't even that close because at one point it was 26 15. The Jets got a late field goal there at the end. Where do I start? This team is disgraceful, embarrassing, a joke. Every word you want to use with this team. I'm done with the coach, but I'll, I'll get to him. The offensive line is it's offensive, it's embarrassing, it's not even an offensive line, it's a joke to call it an offensive line. It's just five guys just happen to stand there. They're not doing anything. Donald doesn't have any time to throw. Donald, I'm losing a lot of faith in Donald. I'm sorry. Like, this ghost remark is going to, this ghost thing that he said is going to carry with him for the rest of his career unless he wins a title. This, this is going to be his legacy now, unless he somehow finds a way to win, you know, to a Super Bowl. This is going to be a ghost. He throws one of the worst interceptions at the goal line you will ever see. And then, and then, and then, and after that, Miami, the Dolphin Stadium plays the Ghostbusters theme song. Everybody's getting their shots at this kid. I mean, oh gosh. So he, he's, gonna, he's, he's not going to be able to live that down, I feel like. Until, when he flames out in three years, like every Jet quarterback, or I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to give him three years. I'm losing faith in the kid. I, I know it's not his, all, his, all his fault. The offensive line's bad, but my gosh, he hasn't been much better either. When he flames out in the next few years, that's going to be his legacy. I see ghost. So that so that's bad. The offensive line's terrible. How many penalties? How many? I'm looking for it now. I mean, this is I mean, again Miami. They're not even trying to win, and the Jets committed ten penalties for 105 yards. Oh my gosh! Miami had more time of possession than they did. Jets had one turnover. They had one of the worst plays of the year. A lot of them, but you know, the, along with the goal line interception, the ball that snaps, Donald wasn't ready for it, goes right over his head for a safety, which is just classic Jets. And then to top it all off, they have this terrible coach in Adam Gase. And it is, I'm, I'm sorry, I said a few weeks ago they should get rid of him at the end of the season. Forget end of the season. They shouldn't even allow him on the tarmac. Christopher Johnson, do yourself a favor. Do this Jets nation a favor and fire him now. Put us out of our misery. Save us a year or two left of this guy being a total joke. Because if he doesn't get fired now, it'll be a year or two years from now when the, the franchise is even more dis dis depleted than it already is, and then you'll fire him. So you might as well just save face now. Save any face that you have here. This is a Jet Nation. Get the billboards. Get the airplane banners. Get whatever you got to do. Make sure the Johnsons, okay, whether it's Christopher or the ambassador of England somehow, which I don't know how you get that job. I mean, my, my gosh, what did he do to deserve that? Make sure that Johnson's know. It is a, we, and don't tell me, oh, it's eight games. We saw him for three years. This whole time, we know he's been a terrible coach. We didn't need him. To, for some reason, the Jets thought, after three years of mediocrity in Miami, they thought this is the guy. The quarterback whisperer, the quarterback guru, this is the guy. And any Jet fan, any rational person knew he was not, Okay. So that's why he had a short leash to begin with with the Jet fans. Because we knew he was bad. We've seen him in the division for years. And now the leash is gone. He should be gone today. He should be gone. If the Johnsons cared about the Jets, if, if they cared about their fans and about this team, they'd get rid of him now. He's not going to get any better. He's going to get even worse. Somehow this team will find a new low before the year's over. This is on the verge of being the worst Jet team since Kotite. And I thought last year was bad. Some of the Jets always find a way to make things worse. And they're doing it here again. So, what, what the, 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 the Jet franchise, well, and, and my gosh, to the thing at the beginning of the year, we were actually thinking, oh, this might be a good year. You know, the over-under was seven and a half. All right, we'll go up. This team has got a lot of potential. How did they beat Dallas? I'm trying to figure that out. How on earth did they beat the Cowboys? I, this team, is, is even by the low expectations that we usually set for them, they've gone underneath it. I don't know why people thought this team was going to be good this year. But this, but I thought they would be bad. This is a whole new level of ineptitude. You lose to the Dolphins, the team is not even trying to win! Oh my.
my gosh. That this is a joke. This is a joke. Adam Gase, and by the way, did you see it during the game when Adam Gase was sitting by himself on the bench? No one wanted to go near him. Leadership right there, folks. Leadership. Gase is a joke. I'm losing faith in Donald here very quickly. And now you're going to have to ask the question. If the Jets end up with the first pick, and he and Donald keeps playing like this, you're going to have to ask the question, do we draft Tua? Or do they draft Tua? Do they draft Tua Tagovailoa with the first pick if they get it? They might do it. They might do it. If Donald keeps playing like this, why not? It might, but, but I don't know. It's just... It's, I, I'm just so sick. Darnold is terrible. The offensive line is disgraceful. The defense let Fitzpatrick carved them up for four quarters. Everything about this is a joke, a disgrace. It's everything the Jet fans have seen for 50 years now. And counting. Wow, what a disgrace. Just, just embarrassing today. Again, just when you think it can't get any worse, the Jets always find a way. M-E-S-S. Mess. 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 I'm done. Thanks for watching.